Hi everybody, my name is Vladimir Zalvo. I'm a solution architect uh, at GitLab. And today I would like to do a small demonstration of a workaround that I have named dynamic merge request approval rules. Um, <clears throat> to give you a little bit of context, I have recently received an interesting request from one of my prospects about being able to do, uh, to do a bit more dynamic approval rules within their projects. Now, GitLab already has quite a large number of capabilities that support uh, compliance and support very uh, flexible approval rules creation. That includes merge request approval rules, project level approval rules, required approval rules, code owners capabilities, and more. However, uh, for this particular case, um, we have a team, a uh, team of developers that develops uh, very complex software products. Um, and as part of the development process, they implement multiple services, microservices, that are usually stored in large repositories. Now, all these services that the team develops have very complex um, interdependencies between each other. Um, and as a part of their work, the team has already developed um, and actively maintains a metadata database um, that consists of all these cross dependencies, links, how the service is being used, uh, and how they communicate with each other. And another thing, this backend they developed, this meta uh, database also contains information about existing knowledge, uh, subject matter experts within the team, potentially their availability, uh, the amount of their workload they're currently working on. And they would like to use all of this metadata to actually assign approvers to bring in more compliance to their process uh, by assigning approvers to merge requests with all this information um, that they have already actively created. As a result, the design capability that they asked for in GitLab is being able to add mandatory required approval rules to specific merge requests based on externally defined sets of rules, custom logic. These additional approval rules should be blocking and it should not be possible for an individual developer to override, to cancel them. They should be also extending other already existing approval rules within GitLab, such as uh, project level approval rules, code owners rules, some of the additional specific GitLab checks, vulnerability checks, test coverage checks, and uh, license checks. So of course, we have looked at the number of capabilities that, as I mentioned, already exist within GitLab to support this solution. Um, such as project level approval rules. So ability to configure approval rules that are mandatory for all merge requests within a project, which is a great capability. However, in this particular case, it seems somewhat a little bit static. So the team would need to predefine all approval rules and they would, they would need to fit all the merge requests that have been created. We do of course have merge request level approval rules where it's possible to uh, allow developers to modify approval rules per merge request. However, this doesn't solve the compliance problem of the, of the team. Why? Because once we uh, disable the uh, uh, prevention of modifying approval rules, everybody within the team, everybody who works on the project will be able to create a merge request with their own sets of approval rules. We also looked at code owners capabilities, which is great. It allows you to pinpoint which parts of the uh, repository uh, need to be reviewed by which users or by which team. <laughs> but still, again, this seems somewhat static. This doesn't allow to look into this external database, external uh, backend service that would uh, act as an advisory service. We have also looked at review rule. And this is something GitLab actively uses when developing GitLab. Um, and it's a great functionality, it's a great uh, um, piece of logic. However, it does unfortunately focus on the uh, uh, informal review process rather than compliant strict approval process. We also looked at some of the roadmap items such as um, uh, the work that's been done by our applied uh, ML team, particularly uh, the work on integration, the unreviewed service. Um, it just would be great. It's, it, it has a lot of promise, however, it's still on the roadmap and it also currently focuses more on informal review process rather than compliant approvals. Uh, we looked at uh, external status check, which already existed the capability within GitLab, um, a special ability to trigger an external service 
and report back the status of merge requests for every merge request change. However, this capability, while it already exists, it is still non-blocking. So it doesn't allow you to block merge requests from being uh, merged or not. Uh, I've met separately with uh, our compliance uh, group product manager, Sam Kerr, and we discussed a couple of capabilities, how we might potentially solve this problem. For example, we looked at um, being able to, in the future, augment the, uh, the, the merge request approval setting about preventing editing approval rules in merge requests. Right now, once you allow merge request approval rules to be modified, they can be modified by any user on the project. It might be uh, a good solution uh, to scope that, uh, that ability to specific role. This might become possible in the future once we implement the fine-grained uh, permission rules within GitLab. <laughs> we also look at uh, using this uh, external status check capability that I talked about uh, and how we potentially, once we implement uh, a blocking uh, status of this external status check, we might build this, uh, a capability on top of uh, this external check, which would block or allow merge requests to be uh, merged. However, <coughs> we wanted to give some workaround, some working solution already now for our customer. And that's how uh, we came to that with, together with them uh, with a solution that we called dynamic uh, merge request approval rules using a bot user. I'm going to demonstrate quickly how this works. I have created a very small project that's called approval bot. Um, nothing too complex. We just want to demonstrate how these uh, potential customer approval rules might work for this, for this case. I have done some preparation work. First of all, let me show. I have created uh, a project access token, which means we have a now approval bot added to our project. Actually, let me show that has been created using the access tokens on the project. Um, with access to the API, I have created um, a webhook. So webhook is basically uh, a configuration that would allow to push some of the uh, events about things happening within GitLab to an external service. So we have created um, a merge request events webhook to receive any event about merge request being created, modified, changed, approved, or unapproved. Um, in my case, in my case, I uh, made a very simple prototype backend service. I used a Node Red uh, for this. I, I only recommend it's a great solution to quickly wire some uh, some services together to test to validate your ideas. <laughs> what I have also done on my um, project level, I have configured my merge request approval rules. So first of all, I have made just a simple peer check rule. This is a classical uh, standard approval rule within GitLab. So I have added all the users, all the, all the members of this project to this uh, approval rule. And I would like to receive at least one approval from those members. I have also created what I called a bot approval rule with another uh, required approval of one. So what this means is that this special bot that I have just created, uh, would have to approve any, uh, any merge request that comes within the project uh, before it can be merged. On the settings level, we have um, enabled uh, the prevent any approval rules in merge request settings so that developers can't override the approval rules. And I think this is all the preparation work that we have done. Let's see uh, how, um, how our solution, how workaround solution might work in action. Um, a brief, uh, maybe intro. I have, as I said, developed this uh, external service, external backend a prototype service, and it does a couple of actions. It actually uh, monitors all the webhook events about merge requests, and um, first of all, tries to understand using its own internal logic. For now, it's a prototype. Uh, who would need to approve among the list of the eligible approvals of the project? Who would need to approve this merge request? We would post a command with an merge request about uh, the required approvals. Um, and it will also monitor all the common approvals or disapprovals on the merge request to understand if all the conditions have been met. Let's actually go and try to create a very simple merge request. We'll make it simple. We will just maybe trim our readme file. 
it just with me with me great we're going to start new merge request for this change i'm not going to change many things as you remember we have already pre-configured a couple of pro rules they all automatically being copied into merge request and we're not able to modify it because we have an the settings to disable changes let's create a merge request now while we're creating this merge request a webhook event is being sent to my uh, external backend service and that backend service as you can see already immediately posts back uh, a command so my backend service has identified that the merge request needs to be approved by a user dvd gitlab team lead so because maybe it's a big change our team lead needs to step in and uh and do some checks on this merge request <laughs> if we unroll our approval rules that have been created again this is the same approval rule that we have configured on a project level we can see that there is a peer check required level and we can see that there's a, a bot approval that still needs to happen so now these approvals have uh, taken action let me actually take an action and approve it myself. As we will see, once I approve it myself, we have validated the first peer check rule. So that's great. But um, our merge request is still non mergeable because we're still waiting for that approval rule from, uh, from the bot. And as I said, bot is waiting uh, for its own internal rules to be validated. So I have created, I've here logged on on a different window by my another user. This is the VVD GitLab team lead user, and I will see that refresh my page, we will see that our notes, our to-do list uh, has received some new messages. Let's actually go there and see that we received two notifications. First of all, uh, because our approval bot has mentioned us in, in the command, so our attention is required. And then another interesting thing is, you can see that the bot has requested a review. If I go back to my uh, merge request, you, you can see that we not only post the command, the bot has requested a review so that now I'm uh, the, the team lead uh, is, is an official review for this merge request. And it's also easier then for the team lead for that user to find all the merge requests that do require his or her attention. So let's go into this merge request. And you will see we'll also have the approve button because we are members of this project. Uh, and we are so this user is an eligible approver. However, um, but native GitLab approval rules don't show here as requiring uh, our approval, but the GitLab bot, the, the, bot, the, the uh, approval bot is waiting for our approval. So let me click the approve button. So at this time, once we click the button, a message had been sent to our uh, backend service. And that backend service, again, did all the verification, did all the checks, and you can see along with our own approval, our bot user has approved this merge request just now. So if I refer to this page, we'll see that now the merge button became unblocked. Now we are finally able to, uh, to merge this change. This is a great solution. This is a great workaround. It would be great, of course, if we had a more native ability to implement this uh, capability within GitLab, and they might become possible in the future with uh, some of those roadmap items that I just mentioned. However, even today, even now, you are able to assign more dynamic, more custom-made uh, approval rules and external checks on your merge requests. Uh, to customize, to implement this dynamic merge request approval behavior. Um, hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for your attention.